didn't say any of that.
Hey, how are you guys doing? Uh, I hope you've signed up for an LFM race today, and maybe you even have your Nordschleife permit. Nordschleife permit. Uh, because that's what you need to do LFMs now on there. So, me and Jeff got ours yesterday. I hope that you've got yours as well. I think you need to do, need to do two valid laps, like an 838.4. I think that's what it is. Uh, anyway, what's up? What's up, Travis? How are you today, buddy? Um, Pierre stopped in a little bit ago. Small Town Cynic, Matt Beard. Howdy, howdy. Uh, Puny Earthling. Aye, aye, fellas. It is, uh... It's about time, though. The server opens, uh, in five minutes. I should get LFM open. Matt Beard, you'll be there. Good to hear. I'm glad to hear I won't be the, uh, only one. I'm excited for it. I'm still trying to get my my sea legs with the uh, with the uh, GT3s. That is a different experience compared to my 24 hours in the GT4. Um, what did you guys roll in the 24 hour, Matt Beard? What car was it? Sydney is also on track. Good deal. Bronx is too. Oh. Uh, this is a this is this is just me. This is just me. Today and tomorrow are just me. Uh, I think Saturday I wasn't planning on streaming, but I might join in for Jeff's community race because he is practicing his live stewarding and all that stuff, and that sounds very interesting to me. Uh, let's see. Where am I? What the hell am I doing? Low fuel, low mule photo sports. Still one of my greatest spelling mistakes ever was LMF when somebody said low mule photo sports. <laughs> Oh man. All right, uh, Nordschleife. Nordschleife. Uh, looks like I made it all the way back to split three. Good deal. Server opens in two minutes and 44 seconds. Get your little code copy, boys. I did get my permit, by the way. I saw it last night. I did get the times. Knocked it out pretty easy. Nice, comfortable, smooth laps. Yes, Matt Beard. I will see you on the track, buddy. What are you driving? You guys took the 296 for the 24. Okay, are you doing the 296 again today? I'm super amped up. Tomorrow night, we, uh, the band has a show in... Uh, whoop, that's off. The band has a show in uh, in our hometown. It's one of the bars in our hometown. Should be pretty good. We'll be playing songs like the one you're hearing now. We'll be playing Clarity and a bunch of these other songs like Radio and Minimum Wage and things like that. Should be a good time. My wife goes. She gets her gets a little bit of drinking going on, you know. It's out there dancing. Has a good time. Grandma watches the kid. And I, uh... Work my ass off, have some fun, and then work my ass off again. That's the way uh, playing in a band works. Oh, we will definitely have fun. It's it. The band thing is really weird because it's a lot of work. Uh, it's it's a it's like a three hour block of like having a blast with your buddies, surrounded by a lot of work with the with the setup and the equipment and the sound checking and all that stuff. But uh, it's all worth it though. There is a practice server on Monza right now called Dig Bic. Dig Bic Practice Noob Friendly. Dig Bic. That's uh, that's pretty nice. So yesterday, LFM, I took pole in a race. Nice. Five seconds before uh, we started the server, uh, kicked me. Again, time to pass me from the pits. Interesting. You mean you took pole in qualifying, I guess? Uh, Jeff is just building bridges over here. What kind of bridges are you building? Toothpick bridges? Uh, what will the 3K sub special be, I wonder? Guys, I don't know. I haven't thought about it. Should we do a special? We should. I mean, we just should. I should just go get a case of beer and we should do a special.
<laughs> Dig Big Track on Mo Mule Photosports. Jesus. That's a. That's just a lot. <laughs> oh, what'd I do? What'd I hit? A D&D &D stream. That is way off base. I don't know about that. Um. Travis is throwing shade. I would hate to work beside Jeff, do all the work while he talks. <laughs> uh, like a construction worker. Um. Oh, D I mean Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, we'd make a perfect duo, Travis. TNT Coco. Oh, hey, Jeff is here, says Small Town. Hey, the servers are found. Jump into your split, boys. Uh, I'm split three. I'm gonna roll the Ferrari. I think tomorrow I might change. I might try a different car. It's time to time to venture out. Test the waters. You know. My little song banner doesn't update unless Spotify is the active window. There we go. Oh, it looks like it's cut off. Well, let me see it. Ah, uh, it didn't account for long song titles. Here we go. Let's extend it out a little ways. There we go. New car! New car hype for everyone! Hey, Jeff, you're gonna have to watch those all caps, buddy. You're gonna have to watch those all caps. What is the... I guess I'm, I'm not, I'm still too new to streaming. What is the, the hate against all caps? What is the... <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> what is the, what is the thing about all caps? I don't understand it. Because, I, I mean, even bots have a program that you can ban people for uh, all caps. Oh my god, a mod fight. <laughs> Rory cries about it. It's the internet equivalent of yelling. I don't read it as yelling, though. I don't know. Charles says, look at this hormonal teen. I think you're way off, Charlie. <laughs> Charlie, how's the baby, buddy? How's the baby life treating you? Guys, Charlie is a new father. Or Charles, sorry, Charles. It's Charlie to me. Uh, Charles is a new father. How is it? Are you sleeping? Is is the baby sleeping? Let me know. Jeff says, Hi, Charles! What's up, Michael? What's up, buddy? We are about to jump onto some Nords. We're waiting for the practice to end. I guess we'll pause the music and head over. Uh, here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Good, lol. I sleep well. Wife does not. Baby slept good last night. So can't uh, super complain. Uh, well... Charlie, I guess, I guess, uh, you know, you know, I'm very happy you have a kid, Charlie, but I, it's just, uh, I don't, I don't, uh, I think it's more of like the woman thing, like, oh, I want to come see the baby, like, yeah, I want to see your baby, and like, you know, like, maybe look at it, uh, but yeah, I'm happy for you, but I don't, I don't need to come see it, uh, you know, eventually, eventually I'll see the baby, and I'll be like, that's pretty cool, dude, and I'll pat you on the back and all that stuff, but, uh, I think most women, they want to come see the baby. So maybe Whitney wants to come see the baby. Well, this was a quick return to Nords. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm addicted, boys. Uh, here I am again. I'm back for, you know, our. Oh, I agree. I have zero interest in seeing other people's new boards. <laughs> it goes a good one. You know, on our, on our, uh, our rear wing, our spoiler on, um, 
on the 24-hour Nords, it, it actually set across it 24 hours of pain and suffering. 17 Celsius. So, uh, yeah, I, I think it's a, just a little bit addicted to it, you know? Uh, but people are qualifying. We have 17 minutes to put down a lap. Let's go to garage. Uh, I guess I'll just tweak my setup the way I normally tweak it. Uh, let's go TC6, ABS2, engine map 1, TC2 off. Lower down to like, let's just look. I don't really care. Um, front brakes, one. Uh, brake bias, 55? 56.5? I don't I don't care. All right, and we're going to save it. I'm going to call it the setup. There we go. There it is, the setup. We're getting into, if you haven't been here in a while, Charlie, we're getting into feet cameras and things like that. We're getting uh, exotic in our uh, in our live streams. All right, time to, time to get out there and do a lap, I suppose. Juan says, I heard you, don't let it get to your head, Juan. I'll just, don't let it get to your head, buddy. Uh, what on earth did you type, Charlie? Oh, feet talk. Oh, I see, I see it, I see. All right. Let's go out there and pretend like we know what we're doing. See where we hold up in split three. Your exit is clear. Watch the white line. Oh, okay, that guy Casey. wasn't going anywhere. 15. Minutes to do the business. We do have some road to racers in here, and I think a couple, uh, a couple Sim Cafe member. Oh, the sun is beautiful. Uh, absorb its beauty. We had to go 24 hours with uh, clouds whenever we did our 24 hour Nords. I know the bearded crew, they dealt with 24 hours of rain, never stopped. Maybe stopped once or twice. It always goes straight to my head. <laughs> you know, Jeff, I like the video <laughs> that you uh, shared with me and Arnout, or whoever you shared it with. The, uh, you rammed me on the track. I need to get my perspective. I haven't dug through the clips from yesterday yet. Also, Jeff, the short I shared last night is um, is a short of you getting ready to go down the foxhole stuck behind another car. And whenever he started to spin, you made a noise. I didn't even know how to caption it, so I didn't. You went, shahoy, shahoy, or something. Did you know what I'm talking about? Let's go watch my recent short. Jeff makes this craziest noise. Racing short, not photography short. All right, let's get this. Uh, all right, here goes the lap. See if we can put it in valid. What a what a triumph it is to put in a valid lap. It's a, this monster track. That sun, I love it. I love it. Maybe we'll get some. Maybe we'll get it peeking through. I think it's getting a little too late, but maybe we'll get it peeking through a few times on the lap. There's a couple spots, especially I think coming into the second carousel. There's a really good peek from the trees there. Ignore my pressures. I did not uh, set those up. Don't even look at them. Just ignore them. Shahoy! Shahoy! <laughs> oh, it cracks me up. Yeah, I think we're getting a little too late in the day for uh, 
we're getting the sun really peeking at us as we take on the Nordschleife, so we'll see. We just here to qualify. Really gotta get my line down for that one for sure. Hoi hoi. Snap by Dan. It's going well, buddy. Thanks for asking. Well, that guy invalidated early. Brenner. That sucks. You have to do a whole lap around the GP first, and yeah. It's a big enough triumph making it around this track. I agree, Jeff. That was the middle of the night. It was raining. We were in a bad situation. No telling what noises could have come from the the mental uh, mental stress we were under. The result of extreme stress and tiredness, exactly. people in this split to be honest okay, there's only 24 Kenshi. cars minutes to go that's 10 minutes left i got so used to braking way early for the rain on that downhill that downhill right left that uh i've got my braking point way too early now that is a scary corner in the rain no doubt What's my best time here so far? Uh, I don't really, I don't really know uh, because I've pretty much exclusively done GT4. Yesterday during the license test, I, I did pretty much the average, the permit test. I did pretty much the average, like you know, eight, uh, eight thirty-eight, I think. I rolled like an eight twenty-seven or something yesterday morning. Uh, but yeah, not super fast. I feel like I was starting to get decent in the GT4, like a, a nice average time. Yeah, the sun has went too low. Ferrari is a bumpy boy through there.
almost lost it. Alright, coming up on the end of the lap. We're getting close. Keep it smooth, put it valid, make it valid. Keep it to the floor. Don't be scared! Are looking about that LFM average time again. Drive the Bentley. Is that a demand? Uh, <laughs> I offer Audi lessons for forty dollars per hour. Gonna pass. Jeff charges ninety nine. So yeah, you need to up your prices. Up your prices. Not the world's best time, but it's a time. I'm putting down a time. Assuming I don't bin it right here. We'll see where we'll see where a uh, an average LFM time permit time puts us. A few seconds Very under. Few left. Twelve. Okay. We're not gonna go for another lap. We'll just wait the 40 minutes till everybody finishes their lap. There we go. We did it. Valid lap. And that's what I'm proud of. A valid lap. The, uh... All right, Casey. Five nice safe lap. I never felt left. like I was really pushing the edge or anything. So I definitely know there's lots more time to grab there. Uh, set up. I wasn't looking at pressures at all. They need to go way up. I'm talking... Way up. 20. 20. You're bumping two clicks past there. We'll just go, let's just go 0.6 on the backs. Mm, go 0.5. How did you get the permit? Uh, that's that's why I can't do this race. It's track. It's tra no, the permit is actually a thing on LFM. So if you go to LFM, they have a permit. Type in permit into the uh server browser and join one of those permit servers and you have to do two valid laps under average of uh 838.4 which i know you already do those times you just gotta go put it in just gotta go put it in Let's see. Let's, uh, I'm actually going to go out and make sure these pressures look, <laughs> look okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think we're going to have, um, my wife spent a couple days away from the house. She's, um, doing military stuff this week and she's had no allergy issues at all. Um, and 
she's done allergy testing and stuff, and she's not allergic to cats or dogs. Traffic on the exit. Keep them tight. So we have a very wet basement in my house. Like, you know, my house is 85 years old, so the basement just leaks, and it has drains that drain out the sides. And we had to go down there the other day to spend about an hour down there because of uh, a tornado warning. While we were down there, we were like, ooh, it, um, it smells pretty moldy down here. Um, sounds grim. Yeah, well, that's very common, Jeff, in the, in the houses that have basements. A lot of houses have either a finished basement or a lot of people just call them a wet basement, which, you know, water gets in. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Char Charles lived here for a while. I mean, the house is 80-something years old, and, uh, you know, the basement has always been a wet basement. Probably the entire existence of this house, if water gets in, it drains out through the through the culvert and stuff. So i um, starting to wonder if I'm not actually having bad allergies, and we just have a house, uh, a basement full of mold, and it's filtering into our house. So we're about to call a... Uh, I don't know, like Serve Pro or a, a company that deals with that, and have them look into it. Because my wife, she was uh, also thinking she was having environmental allergies and has been gone for three days now, and she said she's woke up all three days completely fine. Do one more lap around the GP and see how these tires are holding up. Technically, I can hold up the server for an entire Fastest nine more minutes. Eight, seconds. For overtime. That's a new fastest lap for Schultz. Eight, it's like they're about dialed in, and I think it's probably only going to get colder. So if they go a little over, I think I'm going to leave them. For the Ferrari for an hour, I think you almost take full, full tank of gas. Is there a uh, mandatory pit, by the way? 15th place. Really, the pressures are looking pretty good. Right side's a little bit, little bit low. Actually, it's op still optimal, so. Sort that out, black mold is harmful. Yeah, and like our basement, like you can't go down there and just look and see like mold everywhere or anything, but there are spots in the ceiling where there's insulation exposed, and if it's a wet basement, I'm sure insulation can get, um, get moldy and things like that in the corners. Yes, for mandatory pit. Anybody take uh, Matt Beard? If you're wait till you finish the lap. But if you're taking the Ferrari, uh, what what are you, what fuel are you running? Are you running like uh, are you running like 50-50 for pit strategy or 70-30 or? We're gonna put a few more PSI in the right. Four in the right, two in the left. Or four in the right, four, sorry, four in the front. Two, two in the back. One, two, three, four, one, two. We're gonna name this 16, 16. Whoops. Definitely sounds like the mold is slowly killing you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, while we were, we, I mean, we go into the basement obviously for things like for yard work and stuff. But you're only in there for a second. But we spent an hour down there the other day, and it was like, oh my god, it's like it's bad down here. It smells terrible. Like, uh, it smells moist, dingy and moist dungeon.
Okay, I'm, I'm pumped up here. But we do need to do a little bit of work. We need to do... Let's do 50. Um, in our pit strategy, use currents. Our pit strategy is going to be... Our basement needs more pigeons. You're right. Oh, I just knocked over the foot cam. Oh, nice. Finally getting fiber. true fiber. Very nice, Charlie. That's going to be nice. One gig up, one gig down. That'll be, uh, that'll be a big win for you. We're going to load up 50 for now. And halfway through, we can make the adjustment on the straight. That's what we're going to do. Yeah. You guys don't do a uh, tire change on a 60, right? Just the fuel. Yeah, I think I'm getting uh, 100 meg up down here. I think it's only like an extra $15 to get a freaking gig. But, uh, you know. Defo on the tire change. Okay. Uh, tire... Okay, I'll just make sure it's checked. That's right. Okay. Even for a 45 race, it can be worth it. Okay. It's only like... How long is a tire change? It's not very long. It's time to sneeze. This is what I'm talking about. If I could stop... And you know... If I could stop blowing my nose all the time, it'd be, it'd be great. Um, and you know, it actually lines up a little bit too. I always say that my springtime allergies are worse... Uh, well, our springtime is filled with nothing but storms here in Missouri, so our basement's always, like, always gathering water and draining and gathering water and draining. So, uh, it also lines up with that, too. Um. 30 seconds, 25 for just for fuel. Oh, okay, nice. Alright, we're waiting. Let's see where people are out on the track. We have five more minutes. Let's see if everybody's gonna wrap it up. Uh, you know, we might not, we're not gonna have to wait the full five minutes, I don't think. He's almost to the straight bits before the chicane. Before the second, uh... Where did I end up placing? 18th out of 25. Uh, Cooper is behind me. And where is Beard? Beard, aren't you? Oh, there he is. Uh, in front of me, what timetable did Beard roll? An 833. Okay, so he got me by a second and a half, I think. Oh, so we got some close people here. That's nice. Um, what did our leader run? An 820. Okay. Who else we had in here? Um, someone else said they were in here. Who was that? Uh, you need to check for mold and get all new windows to keep those stupid orange lady bugs from coming in. Yeah. Yeah, in case you didn't know on, on the live stream, I am allergic to ladybugs. Like, like I'm talking very allergic. Like, swell my face allergic. Clever says it's backwards. It's 5 for fuel, 25 for tires. I am allergic to ladybugs. Fuel just depends on how much you're putting in, I know. Fuel is like because I've seen four second fuel stops based on what you're what you're putting in. I think I think fuel is based on how much you put in. That's the end of the session. B eighteen. Some servers do a minimum twenty five second refuel time. Tires is five seconds. Eighteenth. Okay. Sixty minutes. Yep, there it is. Uh refuel mandatory. Uh, we're ready to go. Let's make sure one more time we got fuel loaded up. I hate running out of fuel in a, in a bad time. Uh, we're using current pressures. T uh, tire track has not changed. It will get a the little colder. Is 17. The air temp is 17. Tried to Celsius. put them close to 70. 
that way if it gets colder i'm actually going to put two more clicks in the right and one more click on the left i know that just one at the top left okay um servers put in minimum refuel time to stop cars getting an advantage for being more efficient oh interesting Sully, you ready, buddy? Give me a woof woof. He's sleeping. He's asleep. He doesn't care. He doesn't care what dad's doing. All right, buckle in. One hour, the Nordschleife. I've done this before. I can do this again. Question is, can we survive? The grid's not as packed as I would have hoped. I was hoping for like 50 cars or something. How many did it, is it just because we were split three and there wasn't enough to fill it up? I imagine split one and two had at least 50, right? It's all GT3s. Look at us. Nobody nobody went with the uh, GT4. Could have been a scary drive for me. Could have been a scary drive for me. Best of luck, Matt Beard. Best of luck, uh, Cooper. Hope you guys have a good race. Cooper, I hope nobody wrecks you. Oh, that front right looks weird. It should... Mm. No, that's right. That's right. It was a few higher than the left. That's right. Follow car number 25. We'll see what happens. I'm not worried about it. Got to race on him now. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Uh, will you be doing uh, Nord Slide races later today, Jeff? Thank you, Raj Mack. Appreciate you, buddy. Here's some news. OJ has died. Really? I didn't know that. Now I do. This is interesting. This morning on the way to school, I Will Always Love You by Whitney Houston was on the radio, and we were listening to it, and Anaya goes, this song's from Gumball. <laughs> <laughs> My child said this this song's from Gumball. And I was like, well, okay. <laughs> that guy could have literally drove me into the pit lane and I wouldn't have thought anything go, of go, it. Go. I was just Clear following left. him blindly. Clear I could have followed left. him right in. Still Here left. we go. Clear left. Oh, okay. That's a big left lift. Side. Wasn't really time for it yet, but Hold your line. appreciate it. Clear left. We're on the Clear inside left. here, Danger City. We're gonna really tuck it Hold in. Your line. And then really pull it out here. Still there. Yeah, we don't want nothing to do line. with the inside on that. There we go. Clear left. Got the Ferrari jumping. Okay, Casey. Decent start. We can build something. Car left. Clear left. Thank you for the space, Mr. Bearded Racing. Woo! Watch out. It's uh it's the braking is a little erratic from me, sorry. Look at this snake of cars, I love it. Very responsible uh, start to the race from this. Look at look at this server. Be 
behind is catching. The gap's now 2.7 seconds. Left side. Cooper's going for it. Still there. Thanks for leaving the room, friend. Still there. Hold your line. Hold your line. Hold your line. Hold your line. Clear left. There's probably points on this track where uh, I will be braking and others will not, and I will probably get in a wreck over it. My GT4 mind is still very much here. Yes. Okay, we made it, Coop. We made it. Keep pulling, Cooper. Guys behind us, not so lucky. Another one off here. I still do not have a good uh, line to the out in out. Wasn't terrible. Maybe not as much speed as I could have had. That guy spooked me. I thought he was taking the inside. Thought he was going to dive. Have to get out of this track. Right side, clear right. On your left. Clear left. Woo! Climbing our way up. Palmer is closing in. The gap is now 29 I mean, I have better exit speed here and the slipstream. It'll be interesting to see. Surely he doesn't break here. Okay, good. It's now 1.3. It's not a great place for it, buddy. I know that we're on a straight and you got the speed. He, that guy has a slow jump in. He's a little off the line, too. Really going slow through carousel. Oh, man. That guy behind me has so much confidence that I know this track that it hurts. OK, 
Okay, Casey, don't let this guy distract you. Ooh, bad exit there for me. Pike my inside here. I'm not gonna let him up on that hill, that'd be ridiculous. guy's got a really wide line going through here. Looks like he held it, though. Ooh, he's gonna get me there. On your left. Still there. Clear left. Ooh, that curb's no joke. Never hit that before. The cap two, Rodro. Okay, let's get back on it. In. It's now 1.0 seconds. I set the tires up to be a little over because I thought they would cool. Uh, yeah, I think they're I think they're looking okay. Left side might be a little hot, or a little little a little bit much. There he goes with the straight line. The gap in front is now 1.4. And that is lap one. Keep it moving, 50 minutes to go. Okay, Casey. Don't think about the lap times. Just hit each and every apex. P15. Keep it coming. Still got Cooper behind me. He made it through a whole lap. Let's go. is increasing. It's now 1.5 seconds. Woo! Caught it. Let's uh, take it easy there.
Oh, I'm so excited to be in here doing a uh, 60 minute race. They're going to traffic each other a little bit. All right, Casey, the next car is Rodro. Always hit it, always hit it. I need to get around that curve. Super caught up on that bad section of mine. Oh, that was good. Wow, that's the best I've ever taken that. Gap to Cooper behind is now 0.9. I don't have the fastest exit up that hill. I want to do it in fifth, but every time I feel like I almost bent it on the wall to the right. A strong carousel. Holy cow. Okay, Casey, you're gaining on the car in front. The gap's now 0 0.6. Right, play right. Good deal. Woo. I was really worried about what he was doing there. Sweet pass, mate. Oh, Jeff said sweet pass, mate. Never heard him say that. Sweet pass, mate. Going, going, going. Two, one, two seconds.
climbing our way up the grid. That was a. Uh, well, I was on a good lap. Holy cow! I needed to uh, not spun there. The answer shots ahead is increasing. It's now. Oh, did I say Jeff? Seconds. Yeah, Jim, Jeff, same okay, people. Okay, Casey, you've used half your fuel. V12. We're running on fumes, mate. Come into the pits at the end of this lap. Box this lap. Your lap time was at eight twenty-nine point two. Did I start with fifty? Ooh, I might load in 60, 60 or 70. I'm not taking chances. I'd rather be on high fuel than run out of fuel at the end of this race. Jim is saying pit. We're going to... Yeah, I, ran, I think I went 50-50. Yeah, we're going. We're loading 70 into this guy. There's only one guy on his line. Jeff, it's not all it's not like that, buddy. Or or is it? Maybe it is. It's not spin, but let's get it back under control here. Almost did it again. That that one there got me last lap. Right. <clears throat> Thinking about the TSC guys. Every minute of every hour, boys. feel about that whatever you guys whatever you guys want to be honest I support you not looking forward to that live stream though my wife won't be happy about it Avoid the inside curve. There it is. There we go. to back up. Found myself a nice gap.
Yes, yes. We are going to box at the end of this lap. And I've got... I think I started with 50. I'm putting in 70. Um, oh, boy. Corner am I on? I'm talking. Actually forgot. I think that'll be good. Well, I don't know. I think I started with 50. The driver in front of us is Schultz. I think I started with 40. Very little fuel left. Box this lap, please, Casey. Your front tires are cold. Okay. We've been warned about track limits. Ooh, that was an ugly launch. Okay. Um, All right, Casey. The next car is Brunner. Let's see. Last this lap for Bandit. Eight twenty. No damage. Three seconds. Bandit. Change Just tires. We uh, are gonna come down. Rejoining. Watch your speed limit in the pits. I'm saying 70 is for sure going to carry me to the end of the race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Well, it'll put me at 82. Maybe a little too much. Okay. 30 minutes left. Uh, more like 40, 45. With the, the extra lap, probably. 
Oh, the leader won't pass me though, yeah. On our way. Continue this. Change our tire pressures up just the tiniest bit. Guy in front of me has a stop go. Good. Not for him, but you know. Is so long. Thank you, Jeff. Onboard fuel definitely feels a lot different. grass back there. Times like this, I don't chat. <laughs> that is such an addicting corner. Flying over that thing and holding to the inside. Ooh. Okay, Casey. Halfway home. Fuel's good. Yeah, I added 71. I just added more than enough. I don't really worry about the carrying extra fuel to the end. It's not... I don't know. Maybe someday I will. Put me up over 80. Yeah, I thought I was going to have 70 come out of the pit. I wasn't paying attention, but I don't, I don't mind having the 80 on board. It doesn't bother me. What's up, Wilson? So I did rock. I watched your uh, most recent episode of the Stoop, Wilson. I really liked it. 
I've been following that the beef between J. Cole and uh, Kendrick. Not very closely, but listen to the tracks and stuff. Interesting to hear your guys' take on it. have a better launch out of the carousel this time around. Still a little unsettled. We're cooking a little bit there. We'll slow it down next time I come around that corner. is Carol, the leader, bandit, is pitting. Carriera is now in the lead. What's up, Jay Sullivan? Bedrock says, last my af laugh my ass off. Uh, and J. Cole was like, uh, my bad, shouldn't have done that. Oh, nice, gonna put your buddy on, um, gonna put your uh, brother on No Hesse. That's gonna be fun. too much of an opinion on the whole J. Cole, J. Cole Kendrick thing. The uh, I love J. Cole's ability to tell a story and I can appreciate Kendrick's ability to wordplay, but uh, I don't always want to sit down and pick apart what the hell K-Dot is saying. You know? Like, I feel like I really have to sit down and think, like, what is this dude even talking about? A lot of uh, his diss track, a lot of his references I didn't even understand, and it's probably because I just don't follow the rap world and stuff, but... Also, also, Wilson, the one that resonated me the most with, it, with uh, the one I resonated the most with in your video was whenever you said that, you know, K Dot's line, uh, the big three line, which is obviously the slammer line in that whole that whole verse, is uh, it's 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 very much the T-shirt line. It was like it's like the MGK Eminem beef when Eminem was like uh, had to give you a career to destroy it. You know that line? It's like the line that everyone latched to. You know.
gap to mean ahead is increasing. It's now 3.3 seconds. dark out here on the Nord Slight. A few more laps to go. Try to keep them nice and clean and see where we place. Very likely our competitors make a mistake out here and we can still gain some position. Hopefully a position off of uh, actual racecraft here. Let's see how he pulls ahead. He's at 3.7, 3.8. I am not pushing. My goal is to survive. Oh, oh, we got, we got grass. Big caution, big caution, what's happening? Okay, it looks like they both survived whatever happened. All right, Casey, the next car is Lang. Be really patient on this, uh, this overtake. Dude must have some severe damage. Please don't. Thank left you. Side. Thank you. Thank Clear you. Left. Good pass. Now keep pushing. I think he, for me, Bedrock, I think he's ascended too high. It's a, it's a, I don't know. If, if that's the case, I think he's ascended too high because I think for casual listeners, like, well, okay, so I listen for lyrical content and obviously he's one of the best, but it, whatever he's saying never resonates with me. Um, I also, a very unpopular opinion here, I think Kendrick Lamar sounds like a cartoon character. I do. I think his, like, he sounds like a cartoon character. And that's not to say I don't. There's a few songs of his I like, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I just can't, I never can, like, follow his flow. Maybe... Maybe that's uh, just me being dumb, but uh, but man, he talks in so many, so many uh, metaphors and I guess double entendres and all that stuff that like I just can't even follow it. It's all your right, mixes. Wait for the chances to come, mate. Twenty minutes. I think that, for me it has to be a balance left. of that. Like uh, I need I need a balance of it. You know, I don't want to be thinking all the time, like constantly, like, ooh, what was that line? Like every single time he says a word, you know? I don't know. But no, there's no doubt he's good. I mean, <laughs> there's no doubt he's good. I like wordplay, but that dude's out here laying crossword puzzles down in front of me, and I'm like... <laughs> I'm like, yo, I just want to enjoy it and be like, oh, snap. <laughs> but no, his, uh, Kendrick's dis, dis verse, I'm not going to call it diss track, it was a verse. His, his diss verse, uh, was very interesting to me because I definitely spent the whole time being like, I, and I guess it's not following the, the rap world, hip hop world. I was just like, I literally only understood like two lines of what he was talking about. Rotro is closing the gap. It's now 1.0. Maybe if, maybe if I got the backstory, I'd be like, oh, this is, this is nutty. Bad line, bad line. Should have been down a third. Get it back under control and we're back. There we go. 
to watch Roger here. He it does appear to be faster than myself. He's way faster. We will not hold him up. We still have a few laps here. It's unlikely that you can protect yourself for a few laps on somebody that's faster than you. But maybe he's sloppy. Maybe he'll make a mistake and we'll stay in front of him. He looks a little sloppy back there. It's like the Ferrari's going to break every time it hits the ground on the jump. I'm a little bit slow through this section right now. Going wide, it's okay. Just pass me. I'm having a rough lap here, buddy. Clear left. Come on, Casey. Yeah, don't panic. We'll get him back. The guy ahead is Rodro. BMWs have a crazy straight line, don't they? I don't know. Can I enjoy this without making a flow chart? Thank you. More laps left. Oh, it does kind of add up bad rock. I saw that. Yep, that makes sense. Man, that BMW minutes. hugged that corner. That's insane. So early turn in. We're off for another lap.
What's up, Steadman? Trying to finish out this uh, hour long at the Norch Life nice and strong. Rodro in front is now. Oh, that line is. That line was nice. I start remembering to run that hairpin wider so I, I always forget that there is a pointed little apex late in that turn. I'm starting to see it. His line got me to really see it there. Something I'd never really seen before. Launched a little too hard, missed my breaking point. It's alright, we're gonna take it slow, get it back. Okay, it wasn't the worst. is Pierre from our uh, from my chat here. The gap to Rodro ahead is increasing. It's now 2.5 seconds. Well, I always forget. Don't cut there. Don't cut there. We bend it, he bend it. Mistake. 
Right side. Hold your line. Hold your line. Hold your line. Clear right. Ooh, almost lost it there. He's pitting. There we go. P11. Almost took him out on the overhill there when I was on his left. He, uh, we were bumper to bumper. Question, will there be another lap? How, uh, the leader can't be that far in front of me, right? There won't be another lap. This is it. The captain, yeah, no Carol, way. ahead is now 6.7 seconds. Minutes ahead? I don't have the leaderboard find it, or I would uh, show you guys. Guys, I got my track medal. See that? I thought I got it the other day at the end of the endurance and it didn't give it to me. I don't know. I guess I don't understand the track metal system. Okay, Casey, the next car is B. Five minutes to go, five minutes. So mean ahead is now 6.1. The two guys in front of me are very close to each other. We can uh, cross our fingers for a racing incident. I would never wish harm on somebody else, but uh, yeah.
Yellow flag detected. Looks like he might have took someone with him. Pro is leading the race. These guys are side by side in the straight. I just saw it. Lots of grass. Hold still, boys, hold still. Thank you. That's two minutes left, two minutes. Leader finish race, there it is. Some better exits and this might have been a, might have been a straight that I could have took him on. All we can hope for now is he's got some damage. That is a <laughs> good race though, okay. Okay, I sunk my way into P9. Let's go. P9. Okay, that's the Woo! end. Good finish, mate. Well done. Also, let's look. Uh, guys, zero damage across the entire race. Thank you, Jeff. Um, ah, that was so good. Uh, were you first place, Pierre? Hurry -er -er is what uh, Jeff was saying, or Jim was saying. Hurry -er -er is in first place. The try in the Audi. <laughs> thank you, Juan. Thank you. Uh, uh, Linktard, Linktard uh, says, "Will you get the boost kit?" Um, 
from AliExpress. I'm using it and it's amazing. So did you you bought an off-brand uh, boost kit? Is that what you're saying? Here or Monza? Thank you, Steadman. Thank you, guys. What I think I qualified like. What did I qualify? I don't know, close to twenty. I qualified 18th and took nine. Took P9. Wow. Laid down a 35 in qualifying. And then in race. Pretty consistent laps. I had, uh. This is my pit lap, maybe? No, this is pit lap. Sorry, this is pit lap. I had one soul lap here. And then validated it somewhere. Three valid, uh, four valid laps in a row there at the end, though. Look at that. Look at that. 30 dollars, bro. I get nervous about using like an off brand. I know it's just a power brick. It's just a power supply. I would still get nervous feeding an off brand power supply to my wheelbase. Um, yeah, I do. I do want the difference. So eventually I will get the difference. I will get the power supply. Uh, your PS5 only. I didn't know that, Pierre. I didn't know that. Uh, very nice. That was exciting. Where did... Hold on. Let's see. Cooper uh, took... Uh, let's... We'll have to look at it in LFM when it pops through. Um, Timetables. Race. Yeah, because people are leaving. It's all goofed. I've been being real safe out here between the 24 hours and a minimal damage there in that race. I got my SA on a Sun Corsa back up to a 99. Just parked it there. That should be really good for my safety rating over on LFM. Um, I actually lost safe safety rating my Ferrari races over on a Settle Corsa. Even though I had no incidents, I lost safety rating on both races. Very bizarre. 0 0.05 or something like that. Not anything to worry about. Uh, let's pop open LFM. Let's see. See what? Might be a one... Jeff, I think Saturday is going to happen for me. I think so. Uh, it turns out my wife has like a... Uh, like some kind of girls day or something. I don't know. Some kind of day with the with friends. So uh, Saturday might be it might be good for me. I think it's a couple hours before she leaves, but I don't think it's going to matter. Um, waiting for those results. Yeah, it was fun. I'm not up for another 60 minute. Uh, honestly, my hands hurt. I gripped the wheel way too dang tight doing those races. I need to loosen up a little bit. My wrist starts to hurt. I'm not up for another one of those. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do another one today, actually. Uh, considering wife is coming home, probably get the house ready. And uh, I also, gosh, I need to finish my my H pattern and e-brake video. I've been sitting on it for like two and a half weeks. It's just it's pretty much done. I just have to finish it up not super passionate about it i think that uh i didn't film any cinematic bits for it or anything and i think that's what it's missing and i'm, I'm trying maybe i'm lacking ideas on what to do get gloves bro do you think gloves will help me uh grip looser i can tell you that when i play like when i play games like rocket league i pretty much almost like i grip the controller super i'm a clincher dude when i get into like uh i'm a clincher Whenever I get into games like uh, Call of Duty or Halo or anything like that, I I clinch the freaking uh, I clinch the controller like no other, and I'm just really bad about it on here too. Just freaking death grip in this thing. In my head, I feel like gloves I would grip tighter because I don't have the I have something between my hands and feel like I would want the feel. 
I do I need, do need to try some gloves though. I don't have any at the house that are appropriate for sim racing. We tried some one time. It's like mechanics gloves and they were terrible. They were horrible. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a clincher when it comes to like intense games. Like if you get me in a in a fight on Apex or Halo or something, you better bet I'm meleeing with the sticks when I'm supposed to be shooting. Bike gloves with no finger ends. Okay. Oh, it's also a little hot up here. Getting a little, little bit warm. I got the AC cranking behind me, and it's just not doing it. I meant to get a fan to then blow the AC over this, this side. MMA gloves. The ones I had downstairs had a lot of like a thick layer on the palm, and it made it like really uncomfortable. Definitely finger. I would definitely want fingerless. Uh, I would look cool in some MMA gloves. Put me in the octagon, coach. What did my daughter draw back here? What is this? My daughter drew this. Here we go. Yeah, but that's it for me jeff i didn't hear jeff are you doing uh are you doing a stream today i didn't look i guess i can look right now on discord you're pretty orderly bet you it's listed streaming schedule road to 2k elo nord slide jeff i will tune in for your race later today as well excited chuffed maybe even chuffed Okay, this is what I'm talking about. If you see the back of it, the keyboard's been sitting on my lap since the race ended. It's, if I can hit the light right, it's it's like wet. There it is. It's like drenched. The, uh, it's just hot. Hot. So chuffed you could cry. That's good. Do some new car. I think I'm gonna, I think I was gonna cut stream. Uh, maybe I'll go... I'm also trying to dig fountain grass out of my garden up front. Uh, if you've never tried to uproot uh, a lot of fountain grass, it's not easy. Give us a lap of Monza. Okay, let's do it. Let's uh, pause. Monza. Ugh, I got hiccups so bad right now. So aggravating. Yeah. And the schmouty. Schmouty. Monza, we're looking for like... Looking for like an open practice. Free practice. Oh, I touched it. Monza, come on. I type in Monza practice. Oh, my keyboard's doing the thing. There we go. All locked. No, no beamers in chat. We'll just go over here. Single player. Uh, Monza, 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 Monza. It's already selected. All right, so I'm going with the Audi. The Audi. Wait, that's that's not that's not right. Oh, the Audi has a uh, look at that thing. Look at that thing. Look at the little the little the little hood roof scoop, whatever. The, cooling the engine off, I suppose. Rear engine, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if my cars. Let's go next. Uh. 
Where's the GT3? Oh, this is the GT3. Which one? one of these am I using? The 2022? Evo 2. Okay. Always latest car, okay. Ugh. That first one looked pretty nice. We'll just stick with this. This looks nice. Uh we're just doing we're just doing hot lap. I don't really Bimmer. Bimmer! The only thing I want to change is I want to change down the ABS. I want to run it. All chat. Oh, yeah, everybody. All caps in chat, please. No lowercase. Thank you. I hate it when people whisper in my chat. Porsche. Porsche. It's a little Bodie girl. Maybe I should shift it. Audi, our, I already do another lap. Oh my god, how did you do that? Look at that, look at that. BMW. <laughs> I feel like I'm on stilts. Am I supposed to feel that way? I feel like I'm on stilts. doesn't do that like the Ferrari does. Can you get away with it at all? My god. Go stick rear, yeah. <laughs> oh, gotta go a little bit earlier than the Ferrari. My only knowledge about cars is I always thought pointy meant fast. This car does not feel look pointy. Um, that's why I was in the Ferrari. Pointy meant fast. And so now, questioning everything. Oh boy. PC6? What do you want from me, Juan? That's just what I run in the Ferrari. I go down. Two? Maybe two? This pogo stick, TC0. Watch the track limits, please, Casey. Gotcha, gotcha. Super pointy. 
kind of pointy. TC0, Jeff said it. You're locking your right front into cover parabolica. Brakes are getting pretty hot. The race car has child seats. My real race car. IRL? Yes, it does. Can you not? Okay. Okay. Can the Audi not cut that curb at all? Like, at all? Is it like a weight transfer I'm missing? Can it not get over that curb? So far, all I know is I like cars that can take curbs. You know what I think of this car? I think I know where it belongs. Right here. There we go. Okay, next. Porsche is hilarious at Ascari. The Merc GT3 eats curbs for breakfast. I'll try one more car. One more car. What am I trying? Puny says Honda. You have a setup. What do you mean? What's this for? Porsche. Okay. Porsche. Okay, I've downloaded it. I need to go in and make one of those. Uh... Which one is it, Jeff? Which one? I know there's like a, isn't there a bunch of them. Uh, it's this guy, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's load in. Get a folder. Is this going to be like the setup that that guy gave you yesterday for the Nordschleit? During our permit test. Is it going to be like that setup? My keyboard's broken, hold on. The track temp is 37. The air temp is 30 Celsius. There we go. Got a couple letters out of it. Uh, let's go to setup. Documents, set of course of competency on. What the hell am I looking for? Uh, setups. Uh, this is the Porsche Cup. No, it's not the Cup. There we go. It's this one. Masano found it. Uh, let's drop that. Drop that in there. Masana. Coming back to stream. You know, I covered up chat. Ah, uh, well, now I have a setup for this car that doesn't work. Let's go back. Curl up and die now. Yep. All right, let's go load up a different car. Oh, my God. I think this is why I stick with the Ferrari. 
Uh, it's just it's too much to think about. Um, oh, there's a bunch more. Da Why are they set? What did I pick? Did I pick a? Did I pick a GT two? Anyway, I don't care. Uh, nine nine two. This right here. We want this. This okay. You guys should have used the little small letters that Sydney used earlier. I might have saw those better. Uh, oh, and I got to jump on the server. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, the Sim. Oh, no password. Okay, thank you. Look at the way this thing's bouncing. Whatever. Oh. Password. Save. Uh, let's go back. GT. Uh, there we go. Yeah, right here. Uh, thank you, Chronix. Thank you. Good race for you too, buddy. What'd you take? Jeff is excited to see the struggle. I don't sound interested in that at all. Um, what has happened? What have I done here? I need to download. I drug it in the wrong folder. Now I gotta find it. There it is. All right, here we go. I got the setup. Um, perfect. Perfect. It's gonna be perfect. I should drive it in third person. No, it's not the it's not the battery. The battery's new. It's um something with my USB ports just I don't, or, or it's just the thing. If I switch USB ports, I'll get about two days out of it, and then it starts doing it again. Um, I've tried changing batteries. It still does the same thing. It's annoying. I'd like to throw it at a wall. All right, buckle in. Exit is clear. We have 118. Here in my Porsche. Off. My Porsche. We need to get some heat into these brakes. Here in my Porsche. Oh, hold on. ACC did that thing where it loaded a. Uh... Give me a second. My uh, Fanta Labs did this thing where it loaded up whatever the hell it wanted to. I haven't drove this car, so I don't have a preset save for it. There we go. See how much Casey has improved immensely since he got his new pedals. Maybe pull the plug on some myself. What'd you get, Jay? I am godly wants to know as well. Look at the brakes. What about them? So, okay, car guys, you're telling me you like that whine at the end of the gearing on the Porsche? 
Hold on, wait for it. You guys like that noise? Jesus. I know anytime someone gets in the porch, everybody's like, oh, the sound. Uh, it's just something I don't get. Maybe I wasn't born with it. H sprints, yes. Here sink veld. Here sink veld. That's how I that's how I view it. Oh look at this thing stop. I do have to say, Jeff. That's the sound of hell screaming. That's exactly what I thought. That sound. Oh, you get the six, and it's murder. Absolute murder. Just gonna go to the beach real quick. There she is. Uh, I do like the way this one drives a lot better than I do the the Audi. The Audi. You've had quite a lot of aero damage. You might need to come in and get it fixed. The sound in six gear is the best, guys. I just don't. I don't get the. I don't get the. Uh, the. It sounds good. Oof. I don't know. Out here in the country where I was raised, you just had loud trucks, and they all went. You know. Um. I think we have a. I am not trying any more cars. I need. I, I'm gonna go here soon. Uh, I'm gonna go. The uh, the cup version sounds better. Uh, I I kind of like the way the cup sounds. I've done it a few times. The Lexus sounds better. Boom. What's the what the hell's the boom for? V8 love. What is that whine in the Porsche when it gets to sixth gear? What on earth is making that noise? I know I've disappointed a lot of people when I say I don't like the sound of that Porsche, but I just don't. I just don't. Uh, straight cut gears. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna do a Google search for you guys. I'm gonna learn something really quick. Let's see, uh, production cars usually angle gears with straight cut reverse gear. Nerves again? No, I'm not doing another one. Uh, Jeff will be on it. Oh, that's where, yeah, that's where Jeff is at tonight. Yep, he's doing his LFMs. LFM races on uh, the Nürburgring. The gears and the transmission. That is, uh, that is wild that it makes that noise. Maybe someday I'll grow to love it and I'll appreciate it. And, uh... I'll make my my vibe. I will find ways to make the Pontiac vibe sound like that. My neighbors will hate me. Uh, the big one on Saturday. Yes, 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 yes. I am excited for uh, Saturday. I hope I hope that everything plays out and I join. That'd be fantastic, fantastic. But yes, Jay Sullivan, you're gonna love the Houston Felds, dude. I think you're gonna love them. Jeff, how are you liking your Houston Feld now that you took the spring out? You rebellious dude rebellious thank you for that sub whoever that was I saw that yeah lfm night for jeff tonight all is well steven mills all is well had a good race on uh on nordschleife earlier 
And I actually need to check that uh, state. I didn't go look at it. Uh, low. You. Motorsports. Uh, give me that sweet notification. Results are in. Come on. I need it. I gained 93 ELO, guys, in the Nordschleife race, along with a .4 safety rating. That's huge. Huge! My uh, ELO is officially up to 919. About 1,500 over an AC, but that's a different that's a different thing. Um, very nice, very nice. Almost popped 100 ELO on that one. Uh, let's see, split three, race results. We had... Cooper, two positions behind. Also climbing nine spots on the grid. Both of us coming up nine positions from our qualifying. Very nice, Cooper, very nice. Where did Mr. Beard finish? Matthew Beard finishing 20th, five spots below. Five spots below. One guy climbed 10 places in here. It was the guy behind Cooper. Very nice. Good race out there today. That was that was fun. It's exactly what I wanted, to be honest. I was like, I want to get on and have a nice race on the Nordschleife. Uh, won't be long before you're at 1500 in ACC at this rate. Uh, have you tried LMU yet? So I've tried it. Uh, somebody in the community bought it for me. And I tried it, and it was buggy as could be. Especially for... Uh... Ooh, I haven't tried it since we fixed the video RAM. Maybe then. Catch you later, Jeff. I'll uh, be tuning into your race later today. See you, buddy. Clever says, uh, 1192 ELO for me, but only a 3.3 .3 safety rate. I think I'm almost up to an 8, a 7.6 or something like that. 7.6. I believe that's what my safety rating is on LFM right now. I'm trying to get up to that big old 9, 9.99. I race pretty safe. And yeah, you could say other drivers... Are typically why safety ratings aren't good but a lot of it still plays into how you drive around those other drivers you have to uh you know they have uh patched it a bit now yeah i need to give it another shot then i liked it when i when i did it um i experienced a flat spot in a tire for the first time in a video game and like my i had no abs on and there was a flat spot and my wheel was like it looked like this <laughs> i was like what's happening <laughs> oh boy Oh boy! I just want the six uh, to join endurance. Otherwise, I don't care. Yeah, yeah. I had to grind for that six those for the couple weeks before I did Bathers. Um, yeah. I'm procrastinating. I need to go clean house, and I uh. Been running, running Kyalami all morning. Had any good races, Calavera? Or have they all been uh, garbage? I, I usually have really good Kyalami races. Pretty fortunate. Getting hungry, too. Oh, it is, it's it's lunchtime. It's lunchtime. Look at that. It is noon. Oh, that's right. It started an hour early, later today. I was like, how is it noon? All good, but the last race. Okay, okay. I took my first P1 earlier this week, but it was on a AC in a Ferrari race where P1 turned over turn two and he just flew away under the sunset and then we never saw again. I took P1. So I don't know. I'll take it, though. I'll take a P1. Also took a P2 later in the day or P3 later in the day. So two podiums in AC. Not in ACC, though. Uh, I always everybody always holds a little bit better pace than I do. We'll get we'll get there one day. That was a great race. Um, it is wildly, wildly different. I mean, that's a modded Ferrari 296 over in AC. I uh, I still like it though. I don't know. I don't. 
I, you can put me on any racing game and I'll, I'll, I'll like what I'm racing. I'll find a way to have a good time for the most part. Um, that's just the thing. You could put me in fours and I'd still find a way to have a good time. You need to flex on them before the race. They will fear you. I made P1 fly away. He just took off. Just went off into the sunset and disappeared. It was amazing. Concerning, but amazing. But yeah, Travis, we need to line up a race here soon. We sure do. You'd even have a good time in that whiny Porsche, Casey? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I know I didn't mind the whiny Porsche. It's whiny as hell. I'll probably just turn engine sound completely off. Turn it off. Just tires and wind. That's all I want. I don't want to hear it. Uh, I did like the way it drove, though. I liked it better than the Audi. You know? I do have a hard time enjoying LMPs. Those things are tough. I just haven't figured them out yet. They're, like, very easy on the throttle uh, on AC. Those things are tough. Oh, Travis doesn't like the sound either. <laughs> no, I just don't. I just don't get it. I in my head, I always thought like pe car people liked the, uh, like like the rumble. I, I never thought of the whine as being like attractive, but like I said, I don't come from a car background, so I don't know. Um, that's why you like the Ferrari. No engine noise. It doesn't make a lot, and you get high up in the gears, and you can barely tell. You can barely tell when to shift the damn thing. It just it's the same noise all the time. You get up high in the RPMs and it does it. It's like you don't even know. It's not to say I like the Ferrari sound either. I don't... I have no attraction to any car sound at the moment. Um, sounds like going to the dentist. Uh, freaking vacuum cleaner. Merc has best sound. I did like the sound of our GT... Okay, I will say this. I did like the sound of our GT4 for the Endurance. It sounded more like a car to me than, uh, than the Porsche does. Um, Bentley or Lexus outside uh, sound the best. Okay, I will say that a lot of times I like the outside sounds of all the cars. But the in, in the car sounds, I, I'm not a fan of. So so maybe, maybe I do like the sound of the Porsche. It's just in the car, it's just a whiny mess. I will. Next time we next time we have some time after stream, I will try the Lexus for sure. Step in. I definitely will do that. But uh, but that's it. I've procrastinated long enough. I need to go clean house. And my lap's all sweaty. You can see my keyboard's wet. Maybe that's why it's not working. It's, I'm drenching this thing on the sim rig. Drenched. Moist and drenched. The Aston Upshift Pop is the best okay that's it I, I've, I've done it long enough i'm done i keep doing it all right i gotta go bye bye have a good have a good day
ground.